What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. Starting off today's videos, we're picking up with Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 6. Throughout this story, we have seen it slowly build up the new life that Peter Parker has. The life as Spider-Man. Stolen away from him, after all of these years, Tony Stark is the one to bring it back. To let him know that he was destined for bigger and greater things. That Spider-Man was meant to be a hero. And so while Peter's out here really finding his footing, he's run into Green Goblin, aka Harry Osborn. And with Harry having access to all of Howard Stark's really database of villains, of bad guys, of everything in between. He knows that Kingpin is just the beginning. He has convinced Peter Parker to go confront Kingpin and find out who he works for. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we pick up with Peter Parker at home in the morning sitting down for breakfast. But when everybody sees his face, of course they're gonna have questions. Parker's face has just been obliterated. It is more than obvious he took a beating. Now of course he tries to play this off. He tries to really deter it, go in a different direction with it, but while they're having this conversation, his daughter being as young as she is cannot help but blurt out that that happened to him because he was being a superhero. And with this information coming out, MJ's gonna have a lot more questions. This is where he goes on to explain to his family exactly how this happened, which takes us to last night. We pick up with Green Goblin and Spider-Man. Currently, they are standing outside the Fisk building. They are preparing to ambush Kingpin, but Spider-Man's really not sure if he wants to do this. This is all new to him. Mystery boxes popping up, men in the shadows. He's also never broken into somebody's house before. He's never even broken a law, but Spider-Man gets the courage to do what he believes needs to be done. Him and Green Goblin jump in through the sky windows. The only problem, Kingpin wasn't surprised. As he pours himself a drink, he lets them know that he knows they've been up there. He knows that they have been scouting him out for days. And if he's being honest with them, he has been wondering how long it was going to take for them to come make their introductions. But he goes on to ask, what do you want? And what the Green Goblin wants is the name of his employers. That he knows this goes very deep. They're here to find out exactly how deep this all goes. Wondering how he came upon this information, Harry lets Kingpin know that I pulled it out of your guy. Pulled the information out of Bullseye. This is where Kingpin decides that he's gonna handle this situation himself. Pressing a button, all of the walls, they come down with bars. They have just been trapped in this room with Kingpin. And Kingpin does not hesitate to charge in. Throwing a table at Green Goblin, Spider-Man goes full defense. Webbing his face and trying to strike at Wilson Fisk. This situation is getting out of hand quickly, with Green Goblin throwing a grenade. When the smoke clears, all we see is Kingpin. But Kingpin, he's done some self-improvement. He has recently upgraded himself. We don't really know to the fullest extent, but we know that he can take a grenade straight to the freaking face and not have a bit of damage. As he charges Green Goblin, we can see the Green Goblin suit begins to crack. With Kingpin laying down some hate, he smashes the face of Green Goblin, cracking Harry's helmet wide open, exposing his eye, proclaiming, Oh God! In this moment, Green Goblin thinks that his life very well may be over. Luckily, Spider-Man is still here. And while Spider-Man's able to grab his fist, Kingpin grabs hold of Spidey and smashes him into the ground. And then he just doesn't pull any punches. Hitting him with combos left and right. Spider-Man is no match for this fight. The two of them together are no match for this fight. Harry knowing that they gotta get out of here. 
he uses his glider, activating a missile. This blows a hole in the wall and it gives them the opportunity to run away. They just found out what they're truly up against when it comes to Kingpin. And so as we pick up with his family yet again, obviously they all still got a little bit of questions. His teenage son wondering, you know, the, the moral and ethical aspects of this. Because technically, you broke into somebody's house and you tried to beat him up. By all standards, this is breaking the law. Of course, Peter gives the justification that he is a very bad man doing very bad things. That there has to be somebody out there to stop this man. And if he's being honest, he will probably have to fight him again. That they can't let bad people do bad things to good people. But he also reminds his family that they have to keep this a secret. Apologizing to May and his whole family. Letting them know that he really is sorry that he didn't tell them. He thought it was for the best. He thought keeping his secret was smart but when May found out four months ago he really should have said something but as they send the kids off to bed so MJ and him can have a conversation Peter's gotta wonder how angry his wife is but if she's being honest she's not mad it's very confusing she's really just trying to grab a hold a, a grasp on what all of this means and how it's going to change their lives but mostly she's proud She's scared, she's impressed, and then there's kind of some other feelings going along with this as well. And so this is where he shows off his Spidey suit. Now she wants a little bit of a demonstration. She wants to see how much stronger and faster he really is. But she goes on to ask, what's your code name? When you're in costume, what is the name that you go by? MJ says that it really is obvious. You're Spider-Man. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. The more and more we get of Jonathan Hickman's Ultimate Spider-Man, the more that I fall in love with this character. Now this was a great issue. Because we gotta remember, Peter Parker has only been doing this for four months. And so far we have yet to see him go against anything with some true power behind it. Something like Kingpin. And in the Ultimate Universe, Kingpin isn't just strong. He isn't just powerful. He's enhanced. To what extent, we don't fully know yet, but we know that he is dang near an unstoppable force. A grenade blowing up in his face and it does absolutely nothing to him. And then he is able to crush the Green Goblin suit, made with Stark Tech, the same stuff as Iron Man's suit in this universe. So this is no joke. And then being able to just throw around both Spider-Man and Green Goblin at the same time. Now, we will give credit. The two of them don't seem to have huge experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They just don't have the years of practicing the ins and outs and doing this time and time again. They're still very green on the battlefield. This round definitely went to Kingpin. He gave them one heck of a beating. Now they know what they are in for. They know what he is capable of. Hopefully round two, they'll come in smarter. They'll come in more prepared. And when it comes to his family, all of them now know the true secret. They know that he is Spider-Man. And while his son is kind of struggling with the morality and the ethics behind this, of course, May is static because her daddy's a superhero. And then we have MJ, who seems to be kind of feeling it in her own right. All of it, absolutely fantastic. I, I have no complaints about this comic whatsoever. Hands down, if you are not buying Jonathan Hickman's Ultimate Spider-Man, you are missing out on a phenomenal Spider-Man story. Now, if you want to check out everything that has been going on with this series, you got to check out the link in my description. It's also at the top of the video, at the beginning of the video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you want to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers. From $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you're unable to do this, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.